What's going on people? You're watching the weekly release roundup with myself, Josh Ford, where we run through the hottest releases of the weeks, telling you where you can get them and obviously news as well. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment below and turn on post notifications for our future videos. Kicking off the week, we have the Puma Time Sonic collaboration. There's two iterations dropping, one inspired by our favourite Blue Hedgehog and obviously the other, his arch nemesis, Dr. Eggman. They're both releasing on June the 5th via sneakers and stuff, but there's a wider release on the 6th. Those of you in the US will have to wait until the 12th of June to get your pairs, unfortunately, but you know, you can still appreciate the goodness. Next up, Nike is releasing the Nike 1 to 100 pack, and the pack consists of the Nike Air Force One and the Air Max One, both covered in triple white, just on key for summer 2018. The Air Force One has got removable swishes, while the Air Max One has got a removable patch. Again, both on key for 2018. Summer is coming, if it ever arrives. Hit the link in the description to find out where you can get your pairs. The Nike Zoom Fly SP will drop in both men's and women's sizes on Wednesday via the Nike sneakers app. They're covered in bright crimson and white detailing throughout, along with a graphic clock near the hill, paying homage to Nike's historic breaking two attempt, trying to break the marathon in under two hours. Mad. Another strong release for the Oregon retailer as they drop the Nike Air Vapor Max 2.0 triple white on Thursday. They'll be getting a lot of love online and we expect them to go pretty quickly when they do arrive. So make sure you hit the link below Get your pair early to avoid disappointment. There's also a Nike Vapormax Eneva dropping with black hand-woven material on the upper and the multi-cut detailing too. And of course, no week of releases would be complete without an offering from the German retailer themselves. They're kicking things off with the Adidas Ultra Boost Climber Parley as it arrives with a white prime on the upper and Parley detailing on the heel and the toe box. We've seen a lot of them in the last couple of years and there's many more to come as Adidas aims to save the world one kick at a time. Now Friday we'll see a trio of Speed Factory models releasing, one for London, one for New York, one for Paris, with the Paris being a women's only exclusive. Sorry lads. And last but not least, be prepared to cancel all of your plans on Saturday because Adidas are releasing the Yeezy 500 Supermoon Yellow. You know what they're like, Qins, be up from early, don't make any plans. They're releasing, make sure you hit up the link in the description to check out our full raffle guide because, you know, everybody wants to win them. So make sure you're in with a chance to win by entering all of the raffles, being up early at Adidas, 9 a.m. when they drop. Make sure you get in the queues and good luck. Onto the news now and sneakerheads will be pleased to know that the Air Jordan 4 Travis Scott Cactus Jack has been given an official release date. Set to drop on June 9th, the pair comes inspired by Travis Scott's hometown of Houston, the NFL team, the Oilers, if you didn't know. And it's the second time that the two have worked together. We're anticipating another sellout release. It's finished off by Cactus Jack detailing on the heel tab and the hang tag as well. And obviously the Jackman logo on the tongue. June 9th, make sure you keep an eye out for that. While we're on the subject of release dates, the Yeezy Mafia has confirmed that the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Butter will release on June the 30th. It's set to be much more widely available than any of its counterparts. So you should hopefully get lucky. Obviously it comes with the E-Crew upper, the Busso on the foot and the yellow laces and heel pull as well. Moving on, and it looks like those looking to make a little bit of money reselling the off-white Jordan 1 UNC colorway might be a little disappointed. Prices are reportedly a lot lower than their white counterparts. They released last week via the Nike sneakers app for those in the US, but some UK sneakers were able to get some as well. They're set to drop globally on June 23rd, so make sure you keep that date in your calendar and obviously keep an eye on the sole supplier to make sure you don't miss it. Next up, and rumour has it that the lauded Adidas Ultra Boost Miami Hurricane is making its way back. Now, the upcoming edition, set to release in November 2018, hasn't got the contrast in primate detailing around the toe box, but it looks pretty similar. Its counterpart is currently selling for around £1,500. You can pick that up for, but we'll have to wait and see for this one, see how much it actually mirrors the original. And finally, Cleveland Cavaliers superstar LeBron James had heads turned this weekend as his team took on the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. LeBron was spotted wearing a pair of bootleg Converse from Chinatown Market, boasting a simple black and white color scheme with Nike swoosh on the lateral side and their smiley face logo on the medial side. The sneak was a size 15, one of one, specifically for LeBron, but it could signal a sign of things to come for the two brands. And that's it for this week's weekly release roundup and news. Make sure you hit the like button, leave us a comment about what you're excited for in the comments below. Turn on post notifications and make sure you stay tuned for future episodes so you know what's coming out. I've been Josh, big up the soul supplier, big up the man dem, out.